In this Robot CNC application video, we will see how to use the frequency output and driver control. To use the frequency output, we go to driver control and we click on frequency output. What we can do with that, we can drive our CNC stepper motor with a frequency pulse of the frequency that we want. This is good when we are doing testing or if we just want to see what's happening to our stepper motor when we drive it at a certain frequency rate. To drive our stepper motor at a frequency rate, we just enter the frequency. In this case, we'll enter 200 hertz. We'll do that for the X and Y. Then we click on Apply Frequency Output to Controller. The frequency is being applied to the controller, and we can see now the stepper motor are actually moving at the frequency we requested. To stop the frequency, we just click on Stop Controller Frequency Output. Now the stepper motor will stop moving based on that. The next thing we want to see over here, in under the driver control menu, is the driver signal output. The driver signal output is very useful when we are actually testing our breakout uh, card uh, before wiring to our stepper motor. What we can do in this menu, we can output for the X, Y, Z, and A axis, um, basically the pulse and direction for example, for the x-axis, the pulse is on pin 2, the direction is on pin 3. We can just, for example, um, using a multimeter at the breakout card, go between pin 2 and the ground of the parallel port. And we check this uh, pulse and we apply it to the controller and we will see that our multimeter will show 5 volt on that pin. And this is a very convenient um, menu when we are wiring our stepper motor. We can check all the signals to make sure that the wiring is okay and our um, stepper motor is actually getting the signal from our CNC controller.